What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Clash Talk with uh, Master Of here. Today we've got four questions. So uh, this is from the last episode. You guys have been dropping questions in the comments ever since, which has been pretty awesome. You really liked the last episode, which I'm happy about. So I'm happy to do it again for you. It doesn't take me long to do the episodes as well, which is really nice for me. It's easy for me to kind of sit and talk to you guys. There's no webcam or anything. Software's still broken. So let's get on. So in the background as well, I'm just going to be running through uh, the latest attacks that my team did in the last clan war. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Anyway, First question I got asked a lot from you guys is, how do I record my iPad? So, I'm using the iPad uh, Retina display, so I guess that's the one before the iPad Air. And to record it, I don't use Reflector or anything like that. I actually use my Elgato Game Capture HD card, uh, which you would usually use for an Xbox, etc, etc, uh, like the PlayStation. But with mine, I've got a HDMI to Lightning adapter which uh, works really well. So that, that basically changes uh, the connector from my lightning port to a HDMI port, which I can connect to my Gato HD. So what does this give me that the Reflector app doesn't, um, it actually doesn't have any lag. Now Reflector can have quite a bit of lag sometimes because you are doing it over Wi-Fi. Lots of issues can uh, occur from it. Whereas using the Elgato Game Capture HD, it's, what, it's a true signal that just goes straight through, captures everything happening on your screen, captures the audio grade, uh, and it, it's just really easy to use. It also doesn't drain your battery like I find uh, using Reflector does on my iPad, which is why I stopped using it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I use for it. I can also uh, hook it up to my TV then and watch it on my TV as well, which is pretty nice, which I believe you can do with Reflector, but I'm not 100% sure. But that's how I record it all. Uh, I record my mic with uh, Blue Snowball. I actually have a full setup video somewhere on my channel, so if you just search Master of Setup or something, I'm sure you'll find it. But yeah, I use a Blue Snowball and then I use uh, Coral Video Studios to edit it, which is uh, really easy to use. Like when I use my green screen, it takes like a minute to, to set up my green screen to work properly and everything. So yeah, that's that's how I use it. I hope that's answered the question for you guys that uh, wondered that. Uh, question number two comes, what is your favorite troop on Clash of Clans? Now, what is my favorite troop class on Clash of Clans? What's my favorite, I guess, tactic is what you're meaning as well. Um, I honestly don't have one yet because I'm just farming and I'm kind of going through the stages getting to know the game like a lot better I don't really know at, at the moment obviously I, I farm a lot so I find farming is really easy to do uh, when you use the barbarian and archers just the barch uh, tactic which is a really common tactic uh, pretty much half barbarians half archers barbarians going first almost act like a meat shield um, and then the archers kind of sit behind and pick stuff off and usually you use that on collectors and stuff because uh, it's really easy, like in the bottom of this one, you can see the collectors have quite a bit of loot in them. Uh, and you'd be able to snipe them from a distance and not get hurt. So that's what I usually uh, use. But I've also found recently, I love using dragons. Dragons are great fun. Dragons are giants. I don't know if there's a technical name for all these things, but... Um, giants? Gi giants? Dragon and... Dragons and giants basically work really well uh, with a couple of healers behind them. So that's also a great fun tactic to use, especially if you want to three-star people. Um... I use, I use that tactic like nothing else because I find that one works the best for me. So the next question comes saying, what do you prefer, Boom Beach or Clash of Clans? You started on Boom Beach, but now you seem to love Clash of Clans as well. Yeah, that is 100% true. I obviously started this channel um, focusing on Boom Beach was one of the games I focused on. Uh, and it, it still is, obviously. It's one of my main two games that I play on this channel, Clash of Clans and Boom Beach. Um, and I love them both the same. The one thing Boom Beach is still missing is that multiplayer aspect that Clash of Clans has pretty much nailed down solid, so it wouldn't actually be too hard for uh, Supercell to make that, but they haven't made it yet. I'm sure they'll make something soon in the update, uh, but nothing has been kind of set in stone yet, but that's the one thing that Boom Beach is missing to make an amazing game. I think if you could have armies and stuff in Boom Beach, it would be definitely on par with Clash of Clans, but then again, Clash of Clans has been out for like quite a long time, so they've had a lot of time to, to perfect it, but... What I love about Boom Beach more is little things like, obviously, you don't lose your troops if you use them. I feel that the progression in Boom Beach is, well, no, it is a lot slower. The levels are a lot harder to come by. And it feels, I guess, more rewarding in, in a sense. Uh, I know they only have one builder in Boom Beach, which is kind of frustrating. But I feel that Boom Beach has a better progression system than Clash of Clans. Uh, but Clash of Clans is more fun with friends, uh, if, you, if you know what I mean. 
So, uh, final question is, are you going to do another series with your girlfriend? Now, this is this is a question that I get quite asked quite a lot, especially when I stream, uh, I get asked if I'm going to do it. And yeah, I do definitely plan to do one soon. She's back from uni, uh, and she has just got into Clash of Clans and Boom Beach, everybody. So, I'm thinking of doing a, like a, a teach a teach girlfriend series, like a, a teach Charlotte series. I don't really know what to call it yet. But uh, we're going to be going through her bases, maybe once or twice a week, seeing what's happening, doing a couple of raids with her, like t teaching little bits here and there, uh, and kind of getting her better at it and seeing how far she can go. Now, obviously, Boom Beach is available on Android now. She only has a, an Android phone. So she can, she's just started that back up again. So we've got kind of two fresh accounts, on one on Boom Beach and one on Clash of Clans, that she is going through herself. She's unbelievably addicted, like, you know, more, not more than me, but we're, we're nearly on par, the amount she plays in as well. Uh, but obviously, she's not quite there yet. Uh, she is starting off fresh, so uh, we hope you'll be doing that series, and I hope you guys would want a series like that, because I do get asked it quite a lot, and I thought that would be quite a fun series to do. So anyway, guys, there is Saturday's Clash Talk. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me in the next one about pretty much anything, put it down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll also doing, I'll be doing shout-outs to whoever's asked the question that I completely forgot it to do at this episode. But next episode, I'll shout-out whoever asked me the question. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Make sure you comment down below. Leave a like and all that. Have a great weekend. It's lovely weather here in England, so I hope it's good weather wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you have a fab time. Until the next video, I'll see you soon.